lots of cool Halloween-y type things coming up at the Internet Cafe. Okay, we are with Rowan Fairgrove. You are the web weaver of the local chapter of the Covenant of the Goddess website. And can you tell me a little bit about this, the, the particular website that you uh, take uh, take If you of? come to our site, obviously you'll find information on Covenant of the Goddess. But I've also tried to make it a networking site. You can go out to other sites full of links, sites with content, um, shops, events, um, can I get information, information about magic and, and magic, earth religions, spells, goddess and... spirituality, um, Wicca, and uh, other magical religions, uh, as a true, which is the Norse pagan religion. Okay. And, uh, so now, with the covenant of the goddess, you are, would consider yourself to be a witch. Is that that's correct? correct? Okay. And now, being a witch, in in my mind, has always been a lady with you know the crooked nose and the pointy hat. And you definitely don't have a crooked nose, and there's no pointy hat that I see. So, tell me a little bit about what being a witch in the Wicca religion is all about. Well, I did consider bringing the pointy hat just because it's a bit of fun this time of the year. But um, I'm a priestess, okay. and uh, I'm a priestess of an earth religion based in the traditions of old Europe. So is that like the Celtic tradition? Because I know a lot of your websites had mentioning about Celtic sites and history. That's and right. My ancestors are primarily from Scotland. Okay. Hence and the red hair. Yeah. And so um, that's the part of the, of the religions of old Europe in which I'm most interested. Okay. And now tell me a little bit about if, if I was interested in getting information about spells or um, you know, witchcraft or what Wiccan religion is all about or, you know, the whole topic of alternate uh, religions, what would be some of the websites you'd recommend? Well, for spells and such, the Lysator uh, Neo-Pagan Neo -Pagan Archive okay. is an amazing content site. Uh, Ceci, the woman who runs it in Sweden, just gets every piece of, of spell, of ritual that it comes across the net and puts it in the archive so that people can access it. Now, I know in uh, in religions uh, such as yours that Halloween is a very special time of year. What What is Halloween? Because Halloween for me is trick-or-treating and getting dressed up when I was a little kid. So what is Hallow's Eve, I think is the term that right. you use, is what's that all about? Well, it's the new year and for us the day starts at dusk. Okay. And uh, much like the Jewish tradition, the dark time comes before the light, the germination in the soil before the flowering into sunlight. And the year is the same way. So this is our new year and Halloween itself is the time between the two years. Okay. So the veil is thin between the worlds and the ancestors and the fairies can come through and come door to door, luck visiting. Kind of like trick, and tr trick or treating. Exactly like trick or treating. And how generous you are determines how lucky you are. So, so the ancestors are the ghosts that we see. Everybody gets dressed up as a ghost and right. witch and those types of things. That's really interesting. Now one of the other things about, about Hallow's Eve I think is, is the, the issue of divination. I think that's a very big thing that goes on that's in right. Halloween. It's the beginning of the year. Got to find out what's what's going to happen to you this year. Exactly. So there's some websites that, that we were talking about earlier that we can actually look at where you can get, uh, what was it, we had tarot cards and, and I Ching, I Ching and, and rune readings. Runes. And runes are typically very uh, Celtic in, in tradition. No, Is that right? No, they're Wrong. actually Norse or Anglo-Saxon okay. in tradition. It's the Norse or Anglo-Saxon alphabet. And the site I recommend for divination is one by Mary Greer and they point to everything having to do, especially with Tarot. But um, you can start there and find anything you want to find about divination. So I can actually find out what's in store for me for the next few months then? Give it a try. I think I will. Well, and are there any other things that, about websites related to the Wiccan religion that would be important if people were wanting to understand a little bit more about the na nature religions, some other places to find out about the uh, chapter and some other stuff? Well, there's the High Plains Magic page, has some excellent links, and the um, Celebrate the Earth page. Um, I went, actually, I went out on uh, Alta Vista today, and there were over 15,000 sites with the word Wicca in them. That's a lot of so, information. <laughs> so there's um, definitely some interest in there. That's right. Uh, Yahoo, under People in Society, Religion, which, Wicca, and Witchcraft, you can find a lot of links. Um, we're out there. Definitely. And so if you want information, the web is the place to come. So now how does, with, with any new religion, uh, c communication and, and telling people about what you're all about is really important. So I, I assume that the web has definitely made an impact on how you've, how you've been able to continue the religion and, and Well, the, the Covenant itself was formed as a networking organization. And so with the Internet as the ultimate network, we're definitely out there trying to get our message across. But 
Witchcraft is a very loaded word in this culture and very misunderstood. So by being able to publish ourselves and get out what it means to us, we can maybe dispel some of the myths and misunderstandings. Well, thank you very much for the time. I really have in enjoyed learning a lot more about the Wiccan religion. Thanks, Thanks. very much. Hi, I'm Joel Gaza Sack. The Persians called the cemetery the City of the Silent. You can visit my virtual City of the Silent on the World Wide Web, where you can find information about the history and art of the afterlife.